All right, ladies and genitals, Yodi Slay here. I'm going to try to explain. I've had so many questions on how do you install the World of War custom maps and how do you play them. So this is going to be my attempt on explaining this. I'm a complete noob, guys, at PC, so if some of this does not make any sense, I apologize. I'm going to try my best to uh, answer these questions. I think I can explain it pretty well, so I'm going to try my best. But first and foremost, I mean, it's pretty obvious, but some of them have I've been asked. You do have to have a copy of World at War for PC. You don't just download these maps and start playing them. So, I mean, you can get your World at War copy from, you know, GameStop something like that, come bring it home, install, or you can buy it off of Steam. Um, for those that have not bought it off of Steam, there are seven patches you're going to have to download before you can play any of these custom apps. Uh, the patches are 1.1 to 1.7. There are seven of them. Um, I will try to get those links in the description. I've got to find them, so if it's not in there at first, just come back in a little bit, and they will be there. Um, for you guys that bought it off Steam, the copy comes pre-patched, so you don't even have to worry about that. Um, so we're good there, but once you get the patch, uh, once you get World of War installed, uh, if you have to install those patches, install those patches. Uh, if you, you know, like I said, if you bought it off Steam, you're good to go. But once you're installed, um, I get my maps from two different websites. I get it from um, customcod.com and uh, zombiemodding.com. Right here, you see zombiemodding.com. Once you get to the website, this is what it's going to look like. Okay, at the top in the little bar, you're going to see the downloads uh, like thingy. Click that, go down to COD5 Zombies. You can go to latest releases or beta releases. Beta releases are just like works in progress. You can try them out and give feedback on what they need to change. But we'll go to latest releases for the sake of this video. And as you can see, it brought up a whole huge list of maps. Um, various different maps. We'll go to page two because I think I have pretty much all those. Um, but you know, there's like a bunch of different maps, man. For you guys that don't know, there is a ton of maps. So we're gonna go actually to, we'll get Terracotta one point. No, we'll go to Nazi Zombie Tower. I don't think I have that one. So what you want to do on ZombieMoney.com, click on that map, and you're gonna see a link right here underneath the name. I mean, right here you can see videos pictures and stuff like that but you click on this download link that you see at the top of, towards the top of the page and it'll bring you here sometimes there's going to be two little icons for download depending on where you're at if you're in the united states click the one with the american flag if you're anywhere else click the other one or you could i don't really know if it matters much but there's only one in this case so click download it's going to redirect you to another page that should have it's usually this site and right in the middle of the screen, you're going to see a little blue thing. Click here to download Nazi Zombie Tower EXE. Okay. Click that. You see the file has started down at the bottom of the page. And that is, uh, you know, downloading. Zombie modding takes a little bit longer to download. So this may take a few minutes. Um, but I'm going to try to explain my best what the, what's good about zombiemodding.com. The dude that, you know, started zombiemodding.com or whoever this is, um, it's really great because once you download these, all you've got to do is install them. You can install them to a start menu, uh, you know, like the shortcut to the start menu, to the desktop, wherever you want. So it's really nice. It already installs to the mods folder. Uh, what I mean by mods folder, to get to play these maps, you got to, if you don't have it, which more times than not you don't, you're going to have to create a mods folder. If you look in the description, I'll actually have the name of that folder you need to um, create to you know move all these files to but um, zombiemoney.com has it to where all you gotta do is install it and it automatically installs to that folder so it's really easy really simple you don't have to worry about it custom cod is a little bit different but I'll explain that once we get there we're actually gonna leave zombiemoney.com and let that download you know that's all zombie modding is um, just go through pick whichever one start to download and then once that's complete I'll show you how to do it so on over to customcod.com. It's very similar to zombie modding. Uh, you got the downloads thing up here. Go down to Nazi zombie maps. Click that. You're going to bring up a list of other maps, you know. Go through, find one you want or one you don't have for us guys that just have an ass load of them. So let's try to find one I don't have so I can show you exactly. I don't think I have deadline. Doesn't sound familiar, so I'm going to click that. Um, you see it brings you to this page. You can watch video. 
it shows you uh you know perch it explains the map in detail and at the top you'll see download click download on that custom cod starts and you'll see it down there custom cod uh, when you click download you you're downloading a zip file so you're going to need some kind of copy of winrar or something like that if you don't have it just google it there's plenty of free copies out there just get that and it'll be all right um but it does you actually do uh, install a zip file so you're going to have to extract those you can extract them to desktop and then move them to uh, the mods folder or you can do like i will do and i'll show you that once we get there but let's uh you know, we just got to kind of hang out and uh, wait for these to download at this point. I'm uploading a video to YouTube right now, part eight of my Undead Nightmare Let's Play. We It's 25% done, but, you know, as soon as these download, I'll show you what we got to do from there. I'm going to stop this recording, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. We got both of them installed now. What I do after I get them downloaded, I meant, not installed, I actually just move them over to the desktop, you know, just to make it a little bit easier. Then we can minimize this so we don't, because we don't need that. Uh, we'll start with the uh, zombiemining.com. You can see here it's actually got the ZM, you know, little thing. But what you want to do is just simply click it, start the installation, prog uh, you know, stuff going. Uh, whichever operating system you have, you know, Windows 7, Vista XP, whatever. I got Windows 7. Click that, hit OK, install, hit Next. There's the folder you want to see, Users, User, App Data, Local, Activision, COD, World at War, Mods. Hit install. You can see there it's extracting and installing. Um, I, like I said, for you guys that may not have that folder already created, I'm going to put the thing in there so you guys can create a new folder. Uh, then you hit finish. And that's all you do. Simple. It's all, That's in the mods folder, and it's uh, taken care of. You can actually go to the start menu and just launch that map if you would like, or just launch your thing, which I'll show you in there. Here's the custom COD. It comes in a zip file. Like I said, you need WinRAR. What you want to do is right-click on that, hit Extract Files. It'll bring up Extraction Path and Options. Up here at the top, you'll see a Destination Path. Um, it's preset that it'll extract to desktop. So just hit this little thing over here. It's a drop menu. Hit Users, User, App Data, Local, Activision, COD, World at War, Mods, and hit OK. And it will extract to that mods folder, and that is all you've got to do. You can delete that little ugly thing off your desktop. And then that's it, guys. It's on the World at War. Uh, it's in the mods folder, ready to go. But I'm going to show you real quick how to actually launch that after you get those in. Go to World at War. Launch World at War from your desktop start menu, wherever you've got that going. And I'll show you how you actually want to uh, do that. Alrighty, once you get that started and you get World at War open, what you want to do is you want to head down here to the mods folder. You will see all the maps that you have uh, installed to that mods folder and then you just pick whichever one you would like to play. In this case, we'll go with Nazi Zombie Farm and you hit launch and that will actually restart World at War itself and launch World at War with that mod enabled and wait for that to load up and i've got to show you guys something i don't know if you guys are as pc noob as i am but head to options head to game options there and you want to make sure enable console is at yes which is on uh, for this to work because what you, you've got to actually type in a console command um, so once you get that on the little squiggly line next to the one button under escape on your keyboard you want to click that and you see at the top of the screen it open console you got to type in backslash map then the name of the map whichever the name was under the mods folder is what it is so under in this case nazi zombie farm so nazi underscore zombie underscore farm enter and there you go the map will launch and you can play that and that's for any of these maps guys so uh you know it's good to go um hope it helped if it was too quick if you got any questions please ask and, uh, you know, if you don't want to like the video, f you know, leave in the comments, say, man, Yodi, that really helped out a lot because I've got I've been asked a ton, you know, a lot. So, guys, I hope it helped and I'm going to get out of here.